All right, we're heading for the big finish here. We see somehow it remembered my view. I can go ahead sometimes to get rid of things. Remember, minus toolbar will also hide. So I can right click on anything and turn it off. It's always nice to leave one around. Though let's not forget that we can get our toolbar back by typing minus toolbar and then saying just the view one, bring it up, different ones around. You've got different toolbars for different parts of the program. We're going to go ahead and open up again, file. And we're going to go back. Obviously, I'm adding these as we go. You should have access to them. But my hope is that you can do it for another project that does not go from the north to the south quarter corner and the east to the west quarter corner, but instead goes from the quarter quarter corners. So we can have some intersecting roads here. Hit cancel here. We are now back to the spot. We don't want to get too lazy about it, however. We really should be saving our drawings out in the overall view, set current right there. We kind of got a general view for it. We have made a surface, right? We have made a, and we're going to get rid of very often that map. It's a great thing to have around, but we're going to turn off the map kind of tool space here. We've got the tool space. We had one surface made, right? Prospector is one thing, settings is another. We've got one surface made. We've got two alignments. Each alignment has one center line alignment, and I think each of them has a, more than one profile, but we'll start playing around with that in a little bit. What we have left to do now is to make an assembly. So we'll make sure we have all of our views set. Profile one, set current. That looks pretty good. The clicky clicks were off, so it goes back to where I'm at. You'll see later that the clicky clicks make a big difference. If you leave them on when you're defining your views, it's going to be really problematic. V for view, profile two, set current. All right, so let's go down to the other reserve space, which is down at zero, zero. We learn to get to anywhere on the drawing by saying Z, C for center, and zero comma zero, 100. Makes us feel better. You will have more than one assembly in a drawing this we know this we know however however try to generally keep them stacked up at the zero in the x-axis for your what would be your something that hold follow the reference line in DOT speak um, zero zero is the logical place to design anything in any AutoCAD product if in fact it is going to be pulled around by the ear or by the back of the neck as we used to say back in at Marist High School um, that kind of logical insertion point the command in AutoCAD is base or base point but in fact let's keep our alignments down here at zero zero we're gonna make one I'm sorry keep our assemblies down here at zero zero let's go ahead and create an assembly now create an assembly and we'll make call this north-south. If we have time, we'll do an east-west one as well. I say south-north. ASS one. Snicker, snicker, snicker. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit OK here. Now that general tool space coming, that coming up. Oh, you feel so good when that comes up. Again, on your computers, if it does not, you have to talk to one of our tr ace troubleshooters. Um, go out and look at a YouTube video that shows you what to do, but if you do not get this coming up, you're going to have to save out of your drawing. Go out and copy the support directory from out on the standards, Civil 3D. Copy that support directory down into your, see my documents, application data, yada, 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 which you get to, of course, by changing the view for files to be show hidden files and folders. So. Some of these things start to come become natural. Um, I will have you moving around computers each day until that aspect is natural. Um, got to do it. You've got to learn how to set up your environment when you're moving from machine to machine, not just here, but when you're going home as well. I'm at home. Things are working okay. This can't last. So I'm going to go here and make a just a real straightforward one. We're going to go to the basic lane here. I click on the basic lane. Oh, did I make an assembly? I don't know that I did. If I did, I didn't put it in the right spot. Let's try this again. Create an assembly. I called it this. I called it South North S1. I probably forgot to say the place 0, 0. 
and there it is. I go from that to that tool space basic lane. You're going to go ahead and go to lanes here, basic. You click on the thing, and what you're doing actually is actually if you can grab on the actual circle, it works best, I guess. That's what they're telling you it's doing. You see some of these labels are on from the DOT, so that works pretty good. You've got that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in a basic curve. So I come over here. If you click down here in the bottom, you can start to see your curves. I'll just go an urban curve in general, curve and gutter general. And I'm going to go ahead and it appears that it's grabbing up. I did that wrong. This is a great time to learn, like we talked about. Left click, left click, space bar, move to the end point. That was a shift right click that puts it there. I'm just going to add one more because we're trying to be as basic we can and not run out of time. So we're going to go to daylight. Same thing, Daylight Basin. I'm sorry, you don't want that one. Lots of things popping up. You'll learn how to turn those things off, I hope. Daylight General is probably the one we want. We're going to go ahead and select out the farthest most circle. We'll see if that works. That worked great for me. Oh, except for it's in the wrong spot. We learn how to grab on something. Left click, space bar, move to the can shift right click end point of that. These things are actually connecting up on something I think called load nodes and links. So that's all good. The last thing you then have to do is to highlight stuff and then go through that mirror. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything. We'll see some of these settings get a little bit odd. We're going to go through and mirror about that point. It does it all it's all set. I'm not going to go through and ch look at the assembly properties right now, but we do have something that will say how far to cut. The big, big three in the sub-assembly is going to be your cut and fill flat, medium, and steep. That sets what the profile does from hinge points. When you get within the DOT, there's going to be a whole lot more of targeting going on. So we've got this kind of set up. We don't forget, of course, to say V for view, say new, clicky clicks off, say view name, I guess assembly one. Probably should have remembered something a little bit better than that. You put a box around it, put a name around it, but for now we're good to go. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now we're ready for the finish, which will be the corridor. Can we do it in two minutes? I think not. So instead, let's look at what assembly properties look like. Let's go back to our tool space here. Turning that on and off. Turning this on and off. Up, oh, we lost the tool space. Let's just see if it, if it says when we say prospector. Oh, that doesn't do it. Oh, we're in trouble now. Start clicking around, on and off. You lose your tool space, you are doomed. Ah, there it is. Some here in there. Survey, settings. Oh, that works a lot better. So we're back to settings. We're going to go here to assembly properties. So we're going to go down here in settings. We're going to all the way down to, there should be in a logical order, but down here into sub-assembly, right? Not so much the settings, but the prospector. So we're going to go down to our assembly and look right in here in the sub-assemblies. And we'll look in the daylight general, right click properties and the parameters. Remember, Sybil 3D is a parametric modeler, steep cut slope, steep fill slope. We're going to make those just so we can see it one to one. Remember in Civil, one, double click inside of there, one to one, and steep fill slope, one to one. Realize right here you are only changing one of them. Apply, 
That's an assembly in 10 minutes. See ya, bye.